What's up everybody, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be doing something that I never thought I would do ever, especially in front of a camera. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at Wonder Book, which is something that Sony introduced at E3 2012 last year as kind of like a, a, a child storybook come to life. Uh, Wonder Book I purchased at Best Buy for about $17.99 at a price that low. I just could not resist and try it out for myself. And uh, Wonder Book is actually comprised of a series of books, the first of which being Book of Spells that comes with the game. And this is the box right here that it comes in. And you get this book in the box and you get the game itself. But in order to play it, you uh, do need to have a PlayStation Eye camera and a PlayStation Move uh, controller. And so uh, Book of Spells was written by uh, J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame. And this is just going to teach us some very basic spells uh, that you may have seen in uh, the Harry Potter series and whatnot. And uh, the thing that kind of made Wonder Book seem kind of neat, not neat to you know, adults, but just neat in general, is the, uh, is the augmented reality nature of it. So as you can see, the book itself contains no actual words, just a series of, of glyphs that make no sense to the naked eye. But once the PlayStation Eye camera sees it, it will create a story on the screen for us. So for the first time ever, I am going to be playing this game on camera, which you may be able to see my mug and uh, where I am playing this game. So yeah, let's 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 watch me embarrass myself as a grown man playing Book of Spells, and who knows, maybe it'll even be fun. So let's get started. Let's press the move button. Now the uh, first thing you'll see here is I just kind of created this really goofy picture of myself, you know, just kind of making it look like I actually wanted to play this. So I'm like, hey, look at me. So I just went through the general setup process, really. And no, we are not going to link with Pottermore. And let's start at the first chapter because I never completed it. So. This is where I, I am now, and this is just my general setup here. This is the desk of which I am playing it, my chair. There's my lighting. You start on this my chapter, camera. But there's more to do. And open yeah, your let's book. just open up the book. We're going to point at it, and we're going to press the trigger on the uh, on move to get it to work. Chapter one, part one. All right, yeah. I believe that's my tablet on the floor over there. Open your book. Oh, how do we do it then? I thought we did this already. Come on. You haven't unlocked this chapter yet. Finish chapter one do first. We... Chapter one, part one. Oh, I'm so stupid. You have to open the book. <laughs> you see, that just threw me off right there. Anyway, open the book, and then this is what happens. I was trying to do it with my with the controller. Anyway, um, so when at the bottom of the page you see it kind of flipping up and down there, it means it wants me to turn the page because I've already completed what's on this page. So let's turn it. And we already did that, the Leviathan charm. Let's turn it again. All right, so this is not something that we've done here. And you can see. Ha! Huh, look at that! Some previous student has scribbled in your book. Defacing a library book. Hm. Wait. It looks like they've added an enchantment to the book. I tell you what. Use your wand to pull up that bewitched illustration from the page and let's see what happens. Yeah, alright. Now we're going to see what happens. It's just me pressing the trigger. You get to choose what kind of wand you want at the very beginning. I forget what kind of wand this is, but it's apparently about 10 inches long. The magic words for the levitation charm are Wingardium Leviosa. Be sure to make it oh nice God. and long. Say the incantation aloud nice and clearly now. Three, two, one. Wingardium Leviosa. Very nice. Oh this is embarrassing! But I'm doing it for you guys. Huh. Look at that. Some previous student has scribbled in so, your yeah. book. Defacing a library Let's book. Let's just do this one. <laughs> Wait. 
it looks like they've added an enchantment to the this spell is all I in think the I've wrist done this before, actually. keep your wand hand loose and perform a nice smooth swish and flick move okay this is it to cast a spell, cast you a trace spell. the gesture shape while holding the move so button on your controller. So trace Hold it. down the move button, trace the shape, then let go. Good yeah. stuff. Can you trace the shape yeah, again from memory? One more time by ourselves. That's it. That's it. And then the See controller the vibrates corner. a little bit. That means as you, you cast do that. the spell. Now you don't need to press the move button or make the gesture again. You can keep using this spell till you cast another. Now, with the levitation charm, you point your wand at an object, then hold the T button to levitate it. You've got the right spell. Point your wand, then hold the T button. Okay, so my my uh, knowledge of this basically goes: once you create the spell, you kind of have it locked in. Oh, here we go. And Try then you levitating can just do that stuff jar. with it. Point at so, it and hold the T I'm button. Just moving this around my room. You need to safely land it, the jar it. to move on. Just release the T button when and you're then ready. it goes off. Oh well, you've got the levitation basics. Keep levitating if you like, or these things don't grow on trees, you know. Levitate the jar again and try to land it. There's an eyeball. You're there. doing Let's well. Just break it. Now try landing the jar safely back. Oh, oh, smashed See, again. Those little well, eyeballs. let's move on for now. You can come back and try the activity again if you want Get to learn a table. bit more finesse. Okay. So anyway, let's go, we go back to the book by holding circle. Look at that. Right. Some previous student has scribbled in your book. Defacing a library book. Right. Hm. Wait. It looks like they've added an enchantment to the book. I tell you what. Use your wand to pull up that bewitched illustration from the page and let's see what happens. I don't know exactly. Uh -huh. oh, okay. It okay. seems our mischievous magical vandal wanted to give you a creature to practice levitating. Go on then, give it a go. Cast Wingardium Leviosa, and then try levitating that toad. I could do that. You won't do it any harm. Alright, so, I'm gonna... Wait, do I have to say it? Wingardium Leviosa? Or do I have to... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> then I pick up the frog. That's it, keep levitating the toad. Oh, he doesn't know oh. what hit him. Hey, there's me. Hey, guys. Well <laughs> I'm an done. idiot. Of course, okay. this toad was just conjured up by your spellbook. Don't let me catch you trying this on the real thing. That's the basics. Now it's time for a proper practice of your new spell. Turn the page when you're ready. You know, and the basic thing behind this game is they want you to, uh, you know, have a kid that you can sit down on the carpet with, and then they can just play this as they're, uh, you know, just in the living room off in their own little world. I'm a 26-year-old man. Doing something like this is obviously kind of, you know, silly, but, uh, Nevertheless, let's turn the page. See what else awaits you us. Can... You've learned your first spell. Okay. Now it's time for a practice exercise Shh. conjured by your book. I'll be awarding house points, so do your best. Let's find out what challenge Miranda Goshawk has set you. Point your wand at the glowing illustration and pull it up. Now it's time to practice your new charm and learn to levitate with I'm confidence. Ready. Teacher, master, guy. Luckily, this spellbook holds a number of powerful enchantments which allow it to provide a safe space for spell practice. That's always a good thing. Your book's going to conjure up a practice space. Ooh. Here we go. It's all in my room. All right. An herbology greenhouse. Those plants are mandrakes. I'd know them anywhere. A perfect chance to put your levitation to the test. Levitate the mandrakes out of the ground and into those pots over okay, there. Okay, I can do that. You'll need to cast the levitation oh, charm right. again for this exercise. <laughs> Sorry about that, teacher. How silly of me. That's right. Now these mandrakes are fragile, so you... Oh, they're stubborn. Uh, Hold the T button and give them a good tug. Uh, oh, there okay. he goes. I'll magically... Mandrakes, also something Mafriato. in Don't Starve yeah. as well, if you like that game. Now just release right. the T button to drop it. I'm trying to catch Looks like that mandrake's too big to fit in that pot. Try one of the, the larger pots. That's it. Well, he's woken up. I'll so. magically muffle him with a spell. Right. There we go. We drop plant this him little in fellow there. into the right-sized pot. Let's lift this guy up. Come out of the ground. Okay. Good. That's it. 
Release the T button to drop him. Oh, God. Looks like that mandrake won't quite fit in that pot. Try one that's a bit Come bigger. On, fatty. That's Get it. In there. Release the T button to drop him. Oh, God. Whoa! -ho! Lost control of your levitation there. Never mind. Just pick I'm him a up again. Wizard. Now just release the T button to drop him. Excellent. Right. Nice work. Now let's try this big one here. He's going to go in the far pot. Good job. Oh. Ugly blighters, aren't they? Drop him in there. And then finally... Excellent. Nice work. Good job. Ugly blighters, aren't they? Come up. Come up. Release the T button to pop him in. Excellent. All right. Nice work. We did it. All safely reported. Some spectacular. You know, I've always wanted to be a mandrake planner, personally. But, uh, you know, just never had the right wand. Activity this complete. This is so incredible. Time to see how well you did. Lame for Here's me to a be note doing. recording your progress but, you know, in this lesson. I, I, I can totally see a kid see getting into this. Well done they indeed. Even took a picture You've of me. mastered your first spell. Ah, oh, and to prove it, here's a wizarding photograph recording one of your moments of magic. Good work. Not the most elegant display of levitation. Of course. A couple of bruised mandrakes there, but a good job nonetheless. Five house points. Thank you for your kindness. Miranda Goshawks left behind a little more information on this spell. If you'd like to read it, pull up the note, or you can just turn the page. I would like to read it. Let's find out how you did. Well done indeed. Oh, wait. You've mastered Oops. your I first that, spell. So. Oh, and to prove it, here's it a wizarding photograph recording one of your moments of magic. Good work. Not the most elegant display of levitation. A couple of bruised ma There are many variations of this the spell. The you hover charm, the rocket charm, bored. and the floating charm, to name but a few. But this and also the skip ahead and best. back, so if I want to see what, what he said before, because I wasn't paying attention. This charm ought not to be seen as a joke spell. It can be most I useful in duels and can lift physical that. obstacles. And can even levitate. I can go back. This charm and ought not forward. to be seen as a joke spell. What are you? and can even <laughs> levitate small <laughs> creatures. <laughs> so this is likely to confuse any poor animal and is I'm certainly so not to be encouraged. Uh, that's my lesson for today. Look at that. You know, in, in this game, in PlayStation complete. Move in general, just now, are you ready to never move on to your next really spell? took you off the way that Sony wanted you like. it to. So and the there's some genuinely on. interesting things here. I mean, you just look at the at, at the augmented reality, and I can tell you that the PlayStation Move has always been very smooth. It's always been very responsive. But you know, things like this just you know, people just didn't care. And you know, Sony has some big reveal that's coming up on February the twentieth. We were thinking well, it could be the PlayStation Four spell. A or useful perhaps one something this. else. Pull up the but, description uh, text I'm kind of hoping that more. they don't leave or applications the like this to behind. To this stuff it. is pretty neat, even if it's really not for uh, everyone, especially like for myself. The water making spell conjures clean, drinkable water from the end of the wand. Thus, with the water making spell, the trained wizard is never without a source of water, whether they're refilling their goblet at dinner or managing a minor eyebrow fire after a carelessly cast fire making spell. Oh, I learn that one. Fire making. Oh, you found another collectible. Yeah, they are Remember really, to go uh, and see it in the collectibles chapter really later. Really give you the collectibles ah, in this game. Our vandal has left another scribble. The last one was educational. Just shall we have a look? Or if you like, just turn the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the bubble I paid for head this. We're see what he had to say. It conjures a bubble of air around the caster's head. Useful for underwater exploration and avoiding nasty That's smells. Very true. You're ready to cast the charm. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Stay just where I can see you and keep still to see this spell in action. Okay. Oh god, we're underwater. I can't swim! That's Fish. it! You look interesting. Zap. What's our magical Zap. vandal up to now? Goodness, oh a chance to try out your bubblehead charm. Ah, oh, well, there you are. Our mystery student definitely knew his or her stuff. 
I don't think you'll be able to cast the spell away from this page, but you can come back and try it here anytime. Right, turn the page, and let's try mastering this spell. Right, yeah, let's master this. There's t how many pages? I think there's like 12 pages in this book. But just because it's 12 pages Here, we'll doesn't necessarily the mean there's only 12 things that you can do. To conjure um, water from all your this wand. different stuff on you here can be used the for the magic words things. for the spell. Point at the glowing words with your wand, then pull the T button. It's more of a press than a pull, but whatever. You're the teacher. And it's not just Aquamanti. teaching you how to do stuff. I actually played through this one story. It taught me the history the of the levitation for spell and where water it came from. You know, it's like a little pop-up book. Be it's sure to say it clearly when casting the spell. Nice and loud now. Aguaminty. Fresh. Excellent. Like a well mint. said. Aguaminty mint. Uh, all right. What can we do now? You're ready to learn the spell shape. Pull up the picture on the page. All right. Casting Aguamenti requires a smooth wave movement from left to right with your wand. First, dip your wand down, then rise up and over. A nice smooth like wave. A, like, an, like, a, like an orchestra, you know, I'm the conductor. Like that. All right, okay. That's good enough, right? Nice. Yeah. Let's see that gesture again, but drawn from memory this time. I kind of forgot how to do it. Try again. You'll get it. I forgot how to do it, honestly. Was it a dip, then an up? Mm, that didn't look quite right. I forgot what the spell was. Oh, my God. And this is for children. Try that once more. Maybe it was a... Forgotten a gesture. You can I'm press so triangle at any time for a hint. Yeah, what was the gesture? I wasn't paying attention. Down, up, okay. Okay, down, up, and down. That's it. Oh, Great. Fingers. With this spell, just hold down the T button to send out a jet of water. You've got the spell uh, cast. Oh my now God. just pull the T button to spray water. Oh, and it's like in my camera. It's on my oh, TV. Careful where you aim your wand. Give the book a good Let's spray. Don't worry. Its enchantments should protect it from water damage. Watch where you spray that thing. Trying to give thing. the book a spray, but like this. <laughs> Lovely. What was those pages down? Oh, I did. Let's just. Oh, careful let's just where you aim your wand. Not sure about this, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. What was those pages okay, down? I gotta bring it over here. I think you've got the basics. You can stop the waterworks. Right. You have Sorry. to be sure that the book is dry before we move what on. Do we do? Tilt the book up so the water runs off All it. Right. Oh, we can come back to that later. Oh, secrets. Neat. Let's get back in there. Casting oh, Aguamenti requires a smooth wave movement from left to right with your do we do then? What's this? Aguamenti! The incantation for conjuring water is Aguamenti. Be sure to say oh, it clearly when casting the spell. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do then? Confused as to what I'm supposed to do. Casting Aguamenti requires a smooth wave Am movement from left to right with your water. wand. First, dip your wand no, down, then rise up and over. A nice smooth wave. Hmm. I mean, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? Because I'm a bit confused. Do I turn the page or? Okay, Casting Aguamenti requires a smooth wave movement from left to right with your wand. First, dip your wand down, then rise up what and over. What is I'm supposed to do, and if I still don't get it, I'll just 
try to do the same thing over again. Unless there's something else I can do here. There's a... Or do I have to do the spell again? Ah, Aguamenti! Remember, hold down the move button and start drawing the shape. Then let go as soon as you finished. What am I supposed to do, guys? I'm a, I'm a bit confused by all this. Uh. Remember, first hold down the move button, draw the gesture, then let go of the button right away. Yeah, I get it. So, what am I supposed to do then? Because I've already done this part. Casting this does not make for requires a, very good a smooth video. wave movement from left to right with Skip. your wand. First, dip your wand down, then rise Let's up and over. A nice smooth wave. All right. Now you need to draw the gesture again. This time from memory. Not the right uh, shape. Did Try I again. How to do it again? But no, oh, come you'll on, get it. Not again. I'm so stupid. Great! With this spell, just hold down the T button to send out yeah, a jet of I water. Did this and it was all in your face. Oh goodness, keep your wand under yeah. control! Oh goodness, keep your wand under control! Give the book a good spray. Don't right. worry, its enchantments We're should protect the good stuff. How about we let the book dry okay, off? Okay. You have to be sure that the book is dry before we move on. Tilt the book up so the water runs off it. Right, let's crack on. Okay, what do we do? Okay. Um, I am thoroughly confused. Because there is no other page, right? Ah, that's the back of the book. Turn the book over to have a look at the front cover. Okay. Now what? Ready to move on? Just point your wand down at the glow on your book and pull the T button as usual. Then you can pick chapter one, part two. Here we go. You finish the first okay. half of Jeez, chapter that one. Was hard. You'll be able to unlock the other chapters soon, but for now, just point your wand at chapter one, part two, then press the move button. Chapter one, part two. Oh my two. goodness. I thoroughly apologize for not figuring that out, but I. Yeah, anyway. Let's just get on to this next chapter. Let's move this over a little bit. Unlocking charm. Oh, this is an so we're just going to do this order. one last one, now, and then we're going to wrap the video up. Because, uh, ingenious little charm. I think that would have so given a pretty decent idea Still, of what it seems Wonder Book you could and be Book trusted. of Spells is. Uh, Pull up the text to learn about this spell. Absolutely. There are many ways to pass through locked doors in the magical world. See the fire-making spell, the gouging spell, and the reductor curse. Where you wish to enter or depart discreetly, however, mm -hmm. the unlocking charm is your best friend. I just bash it open. Well done. You're building an impressive collection of souvenirs. Yeah, I am. Ready for another tale? Wand at the ready. Here we are. Want to read the story now or later? Okay. Remember, Let's you can always hold the, the circle story button now. to cancel the story anytime. And Choose now we or pull it skip. Out like that. By... And it's going to tell us a little story, probably about how this spell came to be. The famous unlocking charm was introduced I'm to Britain in the show. early 1600s by a wizard thief no mind called to the man Eldon the Elsrickle who had fled from Britain to Africa, hoping to escape punishment for a series of robberies. Elsrickle sneaked back into the country, heavily disguised and possessed of two treasures. The first was a baby monster called a Nundu, a terrifying leopard-like creature which, when full-grown, yeah could devour whole crowds Claw. of men in a single gulp. <laughs> However, 
the cub could be subdued with a simple... What would you use to subdue a nundu? See, what is this? Remember, hold a the T button to grab a tab, lullaby. then slide the tab Let's out. say lullaby, shall we? That doesn't sound right. Perhaps try the other so tab. So there is a wrong answer. <laughs> Oh, the hilarity that ensues. Alright, let's just try the... Let's try the stunning spell. So the cub could be subdued with a simple stunning spell. And Elzrickel intended to use it to guard his house when he was not there. Elzrickel's second treasure was the charm that he had learned okay, from an ancient African sorcerer. <laughs> There's a lady up there. Alohomora, otherwise There's known as the unlocking charm, or the thief's friend. Again. Elzrickel immediately resumed his career of villainy, and no house in London, whether so this little interactivity or things every safe. now and then, really no big deal. But Elzrickel was soon taking home priceless jewels, paintings, and antiques to the house which was occupied by his Nundu. Soon, the spectral thief of old London town was making front-page news in both the wizarding and muggle worlds. <laughs> muggle. Nobody could understand how the criminal was getting in and out of houses without breaking windows or using ladders. Once in a while, Elsrickle would be surprised in the home of a fellow... Oh, another missing word. A fellow a what, gorilla. I wonder? What happens? No, that doesn't seem I right. I think it sounds perfect. Okay, I just shot water out of the lawn. Are you telling me that gorillas can't sleep in beds? Fine, a wizard. Elsrickle would be surprised in the home of a fellow wizard. <laughs> Whenever this happened, the cunning fellow offered to trade his fabulous new charm for his freedom. His deal was accepted so many times that soon there were a great number of so-called spectral thieves operating in the capital. Elsrickle was confident that he would never be burgled, however, because he made sure that everyone knew he owned an ever-growing what horror did everyone knew he owned an ever-growing <coughs> He put it to sleep each morning through the keyhole of his door before entering the house. He just lives with that thing. If you don't cast that spell, it just kill him. And what a way woke to it up in the same way when he left at night. It's like Clifford, the big red then dog, the except fateful to say, when Blagden Blay, a wizard who had been burgled 19 times in two weeks, succeeded in inventing an anti Alohomora charm. In a single night, the wizarding doors of London were sealed shut, and task forces were dispatched to protect muggle houses too. On the last day of his life, Elsrickle returned home after being unable to commit oh, a single in burglary all happen. night. Tired, frustrated, and angry, he completely forgot about putting his Nundu to sleep through the keyhole before he entered the house. The last word he ever spoke before being pounced upon and eaten was Alohomora. Wow. Ah, Elden came to a grisly end then. Yes, he did. Okay. Right then, we'd better learn the spell. Turn the page. Well, I don't think we're going to turn the page. We are going to stop it right there. This is a 30 minute video, so yeah. So guys, once again, this was just a look at the one and the only, and the probably didn't sell that well, Book of Spells. Is that good enough?
Let's straighten that up. Book of Spells. Wonder Book. Book of Spells. Um, currently, you can buy this from uh, BestBuy.com for $17.99, or you can find it from other retailers at a discounted price from when it originally launched. You can find this thing for like 30 bucks, you know, um, and that's just for the game and the book. If you want to get the uh, PlayStation Eye camera and the PlayStation Move controller, there is also a bundle for that, but it costs a bit more. But if you, you know, if if you look around or even if you just wait this thing is going to drop in price even further i picked up you draw the other week for 7.99 and when i'm imagining ready, this to ain't too to far away spell. from being that price as well so hope you enjoyed watching myself embarrass myself i know i had myself a wonderful time so uh next time i run across something that uh, i may want to show you on camera something i think and you know help make me look silly in the eyes of everyone watching hey i'm gonna do it because it's good times and i have fun doing it so so next time this is jeremy and see you in the next video